infinity. How many people actually know what it means? Well, this man figured it out, and he'll tell us on this week's episode of Girdle Asher Bach for Kids. So who is he? Well, his friends just call him Infinity. And today, we'll see him solve their problems. Let's watch. Hey, Mr. T. I didn't know you ran track nowadays. Well, I'll have you know, Mr. A, I'm an excellent runner. In fact, I think my legs will move twice as fast as yours, assuming my legs are twice as long. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Well, it means if you give me a head start, I'm sure to win. Well, it'd have to be a huge one. Well, that's fine with me, but I will catch you sooner or later. Will you? Have a look at that flag down there. Do you recognize it? Oh, wait, there's a hole in it. How am I supposed to tell what it is if there's a hole in it? No, 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 no. It's like the zero in the number 10. The hole's supposed to be there. Zero's my favorite number, you know. Wait, how can your favorite number be nothing? There's nothing in your head, is there, Mr. T? Zero's quite a number. Without it, you'd be nothing. And that flag is something. Nothing. You've really gone nuts now. Let's just race so I can prove you wrong. Not with Zero's flag here, you won't. You don't even need to race. I know I'll win. That's it, Slowpoke. You run or I'm gonna break you in half. Hey, hey, guys. No need to get revved up like race cars. Any, this guy's really getting on my nerves. He says he won't race because of the flag. Think for a second. When the flag is up, it means Zero's rules are in effect. So if you two race to the Zero mark down there, you might never stop. Never stop? What do you mean? I happen to know that you always run twice as fast as Mr. T. So if you let him start halfway down the track, by the time you reach the halfway point, he'll have reached halfway to the end where he started, at the quarter mark. Then by the time you reach the quarter mark, Mr. T will have gotten halfway closer to the end again, at the eighth mark. You could do this again and again, infinitely many times in fact, but every time Mr. A catches up with Mr. T, Mr. T will have already moved. So it will be impossible for Mr. A to actually pass Mr. T and will prove how extraordinary a runner Mr. T is. That doesn't seem right, but I can't tell what you said wrong, Infinity. Nothing's wrong, it just defies common sense. And you know what we call something like that? A uh, half dollar? No, a paradox. Hey, my socks make perfect sense. Good one, Achilles. A paradox is a sentence or idea that seems to contradict itself. Like if I said I always lie. Then if that statement was true, then I should be lying. But that would mean my statement was correct and in fact not lying. Do you see the paradox? Whoa, Eddie. Those are some crazy ideas you got there. And we're just getting started, so how about that race? Only if I got my head start. Yeah, let's see what you got, Mr. D. On your mark, get set, go! How high can he count? Ten? A hundred? A million? How about a billion? A billion's pretty big, but you just add one to it. Or multiply by two. Now two billion, that's big, right? How about a gajillion? Now that's not even real, but you could add one. So there is no biggest number. You can always just add one to whatever you're counting. So how do we describe just how many numbers there are? Well, we call all those numbers infinite. Now that we know what infinity is, it starts to pop up everywhere. How many fractions can you think of? Well, between zero and one, there's a half, a third, how about a fourth? Wait, do you see a pattern? We're just counting up in the denominator. I could go on forever. There must be an infinite number of fractions, just between zero and one. So there must be an infinite amount of stuff between any two points, like the beginning of a race and the end of a race. I guess that's why Mr. A was having such a hard time running today. Well, looks like that's all the time we have for today. Infinity's off to spread the word and solve more problems. So until next time, kids, keep thinking.